means nobody walks anybody. We'll gladly drag Phil Necro <laughs> along. It's only the ninth time this year of all the games played in the major leagues that neither team walked a hitter in the game. Consequently, a two-and-a-half-hour affair. Crisp baseball, 3-2 game, a real treat here at SunTrust. And trust me, Phil will come if we invite him. <laughs> he will be there with bells on. Uh, R.A. was outstanding. Didn't, didn't you just see a little different look on his face tonight? Mm -hmm. um, you know, he gave up the home run to Zimmerman early, but that uh, didn't bother him, and he wasn't trying uh, to change anything about what he was doing. We saw a lot of strikes. We saw a lot of swings and misses, and uh, there was just a determination, a determined look on his face tonight that was very evident to me, and it really paid off in the way he pitched. Talk to the very early moments of the broadcast. This was first responders night. How would the Braves respond to two defeats to the Nationals? How would Arotis Vizcaino respond after disaster last night in the eighth inning? I would say his ninth inning meant, uh, well, he responded darn well. Can't be any better. I mean, last night was uh, as bad as it could possibly be. Tonight, it doesn't get any better than three strikeouts in the ninth inning in a one-run ball game. He was terrific. You kind of had a feeling that uh, last night was behind him already, and it was. He pitched great. Braves finished 9-10 and 10 this year against the Washington Nationals. That's certainly encouraging. At the moment, Joe, they're 4-12 and 12 against the Phillies, who come in next. If there is a team the Braves owe some payback yeah. to, it's Philadelphia. However, the Phillies are playing great. They just took three out of four from the Dodgers. Yeah, and we're going to see a Henderson Alvarez yeah. in this series. I didn't even know he was still pitching after all the injuries. But he's got one of the games in the series. I'll be looking forward to seeing how, how he has responded to all of his adversity. And Reese Hoskins, a great story for the Phillies as well. Should be a fun weekend, the final weekend in our inaugural season here at SunTrust Park. Bobby Cox Statue Night uh, tomorrow night, the big concert after the game on Saturday, and then, of course, the final game Sunday afternoon before we take our final road trip. And one last thing for me. Uh, way to go, Paul Bird. It's been a blast for us to have you uh, around all summer, too. Uh, you did a great job, and we're going to miss you the rest of the way. Not that many games left, but well done. And Sunday, fly, birdie, fly. That's all we yeah. can tell you. It's going to be a great time here at SunTrust Park. Hope you'll join us either live in person at the ballpark or at home with us on Fox. So, Kelsey and Jeff, back to you. We'll wish you good night. We'll see you here tomorrow evening.